When it comes to pay, more is always better, right? Well, maybe that's true and maybe that's not true. Sarah Solnick and David Hemingway recently published a paper in the Journal of Economic Behavior, and they asked Harvard students this interesting question. Would you rather receive $100,000 a year and everyone else gets 200,000 or would you rather get $50,000 a year and everyone else gets 25,000 over 50% of the respondents said that they would rather have less money but more than their peers wow this research has been studied in other places not just in academia but in actual real life businesses so what's going on here it's not the amount of pay but it's compared to what and that is compared to our referent group compared to other people like me. This has implications for us personally, but also implications for us as managers. For us personally, we have to ask ourselves, what are we chasing? Is more always better? Or is there some number that we hope to achieve? And that's where we are satisfied and we can focus on other things besides attainment of more money. But as managers, there's something interesting going on here. Where will your employees compare themselves? What is their referent group of comparison? And there tends to be two. The first one is other people in your company. So that's a scale that says, what am I getting paid versus what is Susie getting paid? And is there an equity there? Now, if Susie has been here longer or if Susie has higher responsibilities or something, then I can understand that there's gonna be some pay differences. But people will talk about money and you need to be able to explain why you're getting more or less than someone else. The other set of scales that people use is compared to people outside. They often compare themselves to what they call the nearest neighbor. That's basically people who live in that area or that neighborhood, but also it's more important that it's people in my occupational group, my neighborhood in terms of I'm a pipe fitter or I'm an accountant or I'm a consultant. You have to be able to look and do some analysis on websites that are out there on job pay and salaries. Are you paying somewhere in the middle of what's expected for that occupational group? There's going to be variances by location, country, skill level, but basically you want to be able to explain to people their pay in terms of the balance compared with other people in the organization and compared with other people in your occupational group in this area. If you can answer those two questions with some level of confidence and you're ready to do that because the question is going to come up, then you're good. And more pay isn't necessarily better. It's just, am I getting treated fairly? That's the real question.